That's what these plays are all about today, our growth mindset. So you sit back and enjoy 12 original plays written by your children that all embrace the theme of growth mindset. Our first play is called The Buzzy Bee Spelling Bee. Enjoy. To introduce myself, I am Miss Pup, a seventh grade homeroom teacher at Harry Scary Monster Middle School. I have three very different students that I would like you to meet. My name is Izzy. I'm in Miss Pup's seventh grade class. I try really hard in class, but I can easily get distracted. Sometimes I look out the window and imagine I'm on another planet. Oh, hi there. My name is Keisha. I like to have fun at school, and I think, wait, I know, I know it all. Oh, hi there. I didn't see you. I've been studying all week, and I can't wait for the Harry Scary Monster Middle School spelling bee. I think it's going to be spelled tacular. It was early in the morning when all three monsters were there. They were getting ready for school. Izzy was eating breakfast and humming her favorite song. Keisha <laughs> was brushing her teeth and thinking of how she was going to beat everyone at the spelling bee. Marley was eating donuts. Do you know what 7 plus 5 is? Of course I do. It's 12. No, you're wrong. It's, it's 24. Don't you know how to do math? I do. When Mrs. Pope walked into the room, it was completely quiet and drunk. Everybody listen up. Just a reminder, the spelling bee is in three days. I hope you're practicing. I don't have to practice. Yes, you do. Fine. It was finally the big day. Every student was prepared, even Keisha. Keisha was the first one to step up to the mic. The announcer gave her the word February. Your, your first word will be February. February is a month in the year. Oh, this one, this one is super easy. February, F-E-B-U-A-Y, February. Sorry, that is incorrect. Better luck next time. Next speller. Well, maybe I'm not a know-it-all. This is the second person to step up to the mic. She slowly walked up to the mic, microphone, but, but then got distracted by the shiny lights. Ooh, shiny, pretty lights. Your word is Mississippi. Mississippi is a long body of water. Mississippi. M-I-S-S-S-I-S-S-S-I-P-P-I, -S 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 Mississippi. Sorry, that is incorrect. Next speller, please report to the stage. Izzy left the stage bawling her eyes out. Finally, the last person to step up to the mic was Marley. Just then, Marley froze in her step. Marley did not move one bit. Just then, Izzy and Keisha ran over to her. Are you okay? Out of the corner of Keisha's eye, she saw something on the chair that Marley was sitting on. It was a gold necklace. On the necklace it said, lose or win, always try. Keisha ran back over to Marley and put the necklace on her neck. Dressed then, Marley shouted out, I can do this! Your word is college. 
College is a place you might go after high school. College. That is correct, but we need to give you one more word. Growth mindset! Growth mindset is when you try and try and never give up. Growth mindset. Our winner of this year's spelling bee is, drum roll please, Molly! Molly was so excited that she thinks Keisha and Daisy help, were helping her overcome her fear, and they lived happily ever after. Now, now you know why friendship studying and growth mindset really pays off. The end. Hi there, my name is Jordan and I was a prop person. My name is Jalen and I was proud person. Hi, my name is Avon and I was Izzy. My name is Autumn and I played Marley. Hi, my name is Jaquana and I played Keisha. Hi, my name is Dakota and I played Miss Puppet Announcer. Territory originally made by Michaela. It was December 1st, 1901. Four Huskies named Max, Lacey, Duke, and Violet sat by the fireplace trying to warm up. It was 8 o'clock p.m. in Alaska. Why does this igloo always have to fall apart? I believe this igloo will never stay in one piece. Max, would you fix the roof? We will freeze to death. I guess I could, but it probably won't work. If it doesn't work, try again and don't give up until it works. Thank you, ma'am. Can you? Can you? While Max was trying to fix the roof, Violet told the story about how the Huskies met. When the Huskies were puppies, they had a family tradition for National Dog Day. They had a celebration in the park and the wolf wasn't invited because he wanted them to have the meat all to himself. He was very greedy, so he crashed the party and said, I'm going to take over your territory in the future. The wolf cornered Duke, Violet, and Lacey. Max jumped in the front of us and barked at the wolf and scared him away. This <laughs> he forgot about the wolf taking over because she has a short memory loss. You know, the wolf is too overweight for any of us to fight. What wolf? Well, a wolf is trying to take our territory! Max, wa Max walked through the melting door. Everyone was looking at Max. I'm going to fight the wolf for our territory. What? How are you going to fight the wolf? For Pete's sake, I'm 200 pounds. Everybody, everybody, look out the window at the 200 pound wolf lurking in the field of snow. The next day was the first day of the fight for the territory. Max, are you scared? I'm scared to fight for the territory. Max walked to the battlefield. Max was ready to fight. Max and the wolf ran towards each other, and the wolf jumped on Ma Max. Max bucked him off. The wolf bit Max's paw. Max yelled a big yelp and took off running. The wolf followed Max home. Max had no choice but to fight. He knew he would lose that day, so when the wolf was not looking, 
Max ran away as quiet as a mouse. That night, Max sat by the crackling fire. If you have a fixed mindset, you will lose. And if you don't try to fight the wolf, he will take over our territory. And you can't fight him at all. But if you lose, we will still be your best friends. The next day, Max, Max made a punching bag. Yes, it will. If I practice enough, I will be able to beat the wolf. Yeah, but it is the power of the wolf mindset. The next day was the last day of the fight. Max ran to the wolf. He growled at the wolf as if he was playing with a puppy. <coughs> Max's friends all believed he would win the territory. He jumped on the wolf. The wolf ran to Max's igloo. Max got to the igloo first and blocked the opening of the igloo. He barked at the wolf and the wolf ran away. The territory was there. Violet, Max, Duke, and Lacey all made it to the igloo that stayed together forever like their friendship. The Performance is called the yo-yo problem. Michael. Hi, I'm Hannah Hinkard, and I was one of the 
crop people. Hi, I'm Niels Bombus and I was one of the crop people. Hey, I'm Kitty Lashaski and I was one of the crop people.
Our next performance is called The Roller Coaster Park. Our name of our puppet play is Roller Coaster Park, originally written by Nishana. One Saturday afternoon, three girls named Olivia, Brianna, and Chloe are going to the ticket booth at the fair to buy tickets to go on the roller coaster of doom. I don't want to go on any roller coasters. I just want to go to the candy shop. Are you scared to go on the roller coaster? It's okay to be scared to go on the roller coaster, Olivia. Maybe after you had some candy, you'll fill up to it. Here. Here is five dollars to go to the candy shop. Join us later at 6.30 by the roller coaster of doom. Okay, I will meet you at the roller coaster of doom after I eat my candy. Brianna, Brianna and Chloe went on the roller coaster of doom twice. They had to wait a long time to go on the roller coaster because there are a lot of people wanting to ride it too. I wonder what kind of candy Avia is getting. I wish she would just. I wish she would have just tried. This line is very long, and the sun is very hot. If all the girls knew that they're on the top of the roller coaster, of the roller coaster, after Chloe Brianna went down the sec second time, it was close to 5:30. The two girls went. 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 Went to wait for a via near a bench at near the roller coaster of doom. A via was by herself at the candy shop and was in heaven. There were M and M's, cotton candies, lollipop, lollipops, sodas, and ju and juices. Everything low as sugar. Aaliyah tried all the ice cream samples and candy samples they had they had at the candy shop. And then she brought bought some blue cotton candy and a, a lollipop and, and a giant pixie stick. It is 5.50 already. Very close to 6 o'clock. What is taking her so long to get here? I don't know what's taking her so long. Maybe she's lost. Should we go look for her? I think we should wait here a little bit longer in case Sophia is just running late and doesn't see us here. Soon though, six thirty. The two girls was very worried and was about to go look for Avia. But suddenly Avia came running towards Chloe and Brianna holding onto a cotton candy and a lollipop in one hand and a Mega pixie stick in another hand. You're late. I was at the candy shop. You told me to meet you at 6.30. No, you needed to be here at 5.30. I will try to go on the roller coaster of doom. Only a few guys will come on with me. <coughs> sure we will. That's what friends are for. A vehicle's on a roller coaster. Next, Chloe goes on. Then Brianna, then Brianna goes on. The roller coaster was about to start, but suddenly Avia jumped out of the car. I don't think I can do this. I'm too scared. The roller coaster started, and Avia was alone at the top by herself. When the two girls returned, they were disappointed. Why did you jump out? I am too scared to go on. I think we should try a smaller roller coaster. The girls got down from the roller coaster of doom. I went to a mini coaster of doom, which was a smaller version of a roller coaster of doom. How does this roller coaster look to you? That doesn't look so scary. I think I can handle it. I know you can do it, Avia. I believe in you. Avia sat in the front of Chloe. Holding her hands and Brianna right behind them by herself. The rest of the carts were full of little children. The roller coaster started. Avia screamed very loudly, ah. then opened her eyes and saw it. it wasn't scary at all. I think I'm ready for the roller coaster of doom. I think you are too. Let's do it. Avia ran on the roller coaster of doom. 
and when they were done, if you wanted to go back on again and again until it was time to go home. The end! Our next group of puppeteers will have a story to tell all of their parents tonight. Um, in the spirit of growth mindset and challenges, please be sure to ask them the, um, about the excitement that happened right before uh, they stepped on stage today. So you'll have some interesting dinner table conversation tonight, I'm sure. This next play is called A Long Chore. Our next performance is Daredevils Learn a Lesson. Attention! Only 30 seconds until the first contest begins. Wait, wait, wait! 
Can I still sign up? I've been so busy falling off the world's tallest skyscraper. Please, can I still join? I don't know. Can you? My apologies. May I join the competition? Yes, you may. Everybody get ready for the first event, the skyscraper jump. Thank you. Good luck. You're going to win. Nah. Well, all that matters is that we try our hardest and have fun. Can you stop jibber-jabbering and get ready to race the chicken wings? Get your helmet on and get ready for the skyscraper jump, then the sizzling lava dash, finally the skyscraper jump. Each contestant made it to the other side. I'm ready, everyone. Now for the lava. Let's go! Hey, I can do a fat flip. Ah, oh, follow my back. Guess I should get running. Hey, this is just like racing. Cowabunga. Ow, ow, ow. Does anyone smell smoke? Ow, hot my feet. Oh, man, my favorite boots. Ow, ow, ow. Now I'm ruined. Good job. You each completed your task. Looks like we'll have to see what happens next round. Now for the terrible riddle. Dun, dun, dun. Here they go. You're in the dip and you use the power of yet. We're all daredevils, so let's work together to solve this problem. Yeah, we can all be daredevils in a team. Three. It's Rogue Mindset! That's correct. Now I'd like to announce the winner. It's none of you. Wait. Sorry, let me check my calculations. It's all of you. You have all shown that you have growth mindset. That was your real challenge today. The Daredevils learned that it's better to work together than to be the best. See ya. Have a scary day, everyone. But I wonder what our next, next competition, competition will be. to have a growth mindset with this next title. I had to practice this because it's, it's difficult for me to say. This next performance is Tiger Man versus Robotic Cheetah Dudes 2000. surrounded by cheetahs. What are we supposed to do about it? 
Maybe we can make a trap. We could outsmart the cheetahs with a gazelle costume. Cheetahs love to eat gazelles. I know, we can build a robot. None of those ideas will work, guys. Let's test each of the ideas out. The cool kids decided that dressing up as gazelles and trapping the cheetahs were too dangerous. So they decided to make the robot. What should we name the robot? Let's name him Hot Dog. No way, buy a food. I think we should name it Raw. Um, uh, let's name him Bob. We're not using my name. Let's name him Tiger Man. stage performance would be complete without stage fright. Stage fright, based on the original story written by Clara Pape. On a gloomy Monday afternoon on the first day of school, there's a teacher named Miss Coleman. Okay, time to practice our concert. Kira, you can go first. Oh, okay then, I'll go. Later that evening, one of the actual concert, Kira, Make 
guys proud, more importantly, make yourself proud. Here in on here. In, here we are back on the stage feeling happy. Yeah, I did it! Hit it, boys! We are, we are, we are team. We're the best as you can see. Go! Next is chest mate problem. One calm day on top of mom victory. The chest mate chest problem is getting ready to introduce a new member of the event. Okay, so Okay, so let's go down now. My name is Galston and I am the chest club president. I would like to introduce our new member of the event. Just then, someone walked in. Hey, y'all, am I late? Oh yeah, I'm a genius. I can't wait to play chess today. Who will I play first? To follow tradition, you must play against me, the chess club president. Good luck, genius. But as you know, I am the master of chess. I guess I have to do my best, but you never know. Demons and Dalton got ready to play the best out of three games. Finally, they had reached the end of the third game when suddenly... Checkmate! <laughs> no, Demons, you can't play. I'm the master at chess. No one can win against me. I'm the team captain. I quit. You heard me. I quit. Don't you have chess practice today? No, I put the chess mate chess club team to say that the team is the new one all around the chess. Well, that's okay, but you should still try. Just then, Bobby Boo came in. Hi, what are you doing here, Gelston? I put, I put the chess mate chess club team today. Why? The chess club is your f <clears throat> the chess club team is your favorite thing to do. Because a team is looking when all around the chess it's not fair. He probably cheated. <clears throat> it sounds like you could use a good song to help you with this problem. He's Bobby Boo. Bobby Boo, his favorite thing to do is listen to the voice. Voice that gives a clue. Wait, what voice? What clue? The voice or the clue is the growth mindset master. Who is a per who is a person that knows oh, who never gives up no matter what's in his way. A person that knows that winning isn't everything. If you listen to her, you'll get your growth mindset back. Right, Melissa? Yeah. Growth mindset is when you believe in yourself and never give up, no matter what's in your way. But what you had was fixed mindset, like when you quit the team and gave up. Okay, I understand now. So if I listen to a growth mindset master, I will get my growth mindset back. You will become a master of growth mindset, but on the one condition, you must apologize to the Monsters and Chess Club. Okay, so if I apologize and listen, I will get growth mindset back. That's right! Team the apology that they deserve. 
I'm sorry I put the team up. How am I repay my, my actions to you guys? Oh, I know. A chess party with pizza and rice. And music and it's all on me. Let's have some fun. Wait, what kind of pizza? Pepperoni or sausage? And one more thing. What is it? Can we play one more game of chess? Yes, I will play another game of chess with you. Okay, I go easy now. Please don't go easy. I'm on a real challenge, and if I lose, I'll try my best to remember growth mindset. Well, they played a great game of chess, and I think won the game. And then a magical voice came from above. Galston, it is I, the growth mindset master. Mm -hmm. You finally found the key to growth mindset. Just think of me when you are feeling stuck. I'm always here. Good game. I had lots of fun. Maybe I'll win next time. Then the team yelled. Yeah! Pepperoni! Okay, calm down, team. The end! Our next performance is The War for the Queen of Wonsland. The War for the Queen of Wonsland, originally by Brecken. A long time ago, when dinosaurs ruled the earth, way up in the clouds is a city called Wonsland. There is a king of the west and the king of the east. Both kings were preparing for the major battle over the Queen of Diamonds. The King of Hearts was in his mansion. Ha 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 I have twice as many men as that crummy king of spades. In the king of spades palace, he called an assemblage in the dungeon of his palace. Men, listen up! We may have less men than the king of hearts, but our soldiers, in the long run, are way stronger than his card men. We even have the power of the growth mindset on our side. The point is, we are way stronger because we believe we are. Now who's with me? We all are. Now let's go on to the battlefield and we will win. The day of the battle had finally come and both decks were ready. The carmen took their formations. The judge told the carmen from each team how to win. The only... I wonder who will win. The only way to win is to have all the other card men all down at once. Okay, so here's the deal. Whoever steals the queen will be thrown back to their castle. Let the war begin. Line formation, soldiers! Don't make any mistakes. X formation, soldiers! It's all right if you lose, just try as hard as you can! Let's, Let's go, go, team! We are better than them. Let's beat them! The car men start marching closer and closer to the center of the battle. And the heart's carmen, he knew exactly what to do. Do it to me. I know, know exactly, exactly what to do. do. Oh, really? The spades carmen pushed down the first heart's carmen, and like a trail of dominoes, the heart's carmen fell down in a long line. 
As our last play's title um, suggests, we hope that everyone will uh, carry out each day and remember the importance of a growth mindset. Hi, my name is 
Shea, and I was one of the prop people. Hi, my name is Evan Sony, and I played a prop person. Hi, I'm Summer Ving, and I played Casey. Hi, I'm Gordon Winsky, and I played Echo. Hi, I'm Claire Cape, and I played Emma.